Hello friends, this is Tushar Gupta welcoming you to Learn Easy. Today's video is based on the experiment of an hour raised by Eugen Goldstein to find out the num the protons. Fine. So, in the earlier video, the video of cathode rays, I had explained the concept of a discharge tube. So, the similar discharge tube, it was used by Sir Eugen Goldstein, but with a small change. Fine. This was connected to a vacuum pump. The anode was here and the cathode was here. And instead of a normal cathode, he used a perforate, perforated one. The one, the cathode with holes. Fine. They both were connected to a source of very high electricity. Fine. Approximately 10,000 volts fine so the concept was similar in uh, in this one as well but he used like this this is a cathode ray i mean sorry this is the cathode so it would send cathode rays in this direction towards the anode fine this was the green faint fluorescence fine when he looked carefully, he noticed that some rays, some small rays, they went through the holes and lighted up the other end, end as well. And this was red in color, red, faint red, red fluorescence you could say. So, this was red in color. From this experiment, Sir Eugen Goldstein, he thought, I mean, uh, he found out that the charge by mass ratio of uh, anodes i mean sorry the protons the positively charged particles the particles of the anode rays were all different they were not at all same for each and every element whereas the charge by mass ratio of electrons was same for cathode rays fine so the particles of the anode rays Sir Eugen Goldstein, he named them protons. So this was the experiment conducted by Sir Eugen Goldstein and this was the process from which Sir Eugen Goldstein, he found out that protons also existed. So thank you, keep watching, like and share my channel, like and share my video, please subscribe to my channel. I would be posting many videos as well, I mean on history and English chapters as well also.